Welcome brothers and sisters to our Lenten series entitled Junk in the Yard. We are talking about the sin of greed or avarice and today we'll look yet at another characteristic of a greedy person and that is a search for compulsive gratification that leads to sadness. That would be the title. Let me unpack it. All of us heard Jesus' saying, where your treasure is, there your heart will be. And we can translate it by saying, if you put your heart somewhere and it becomes the most important thing that is your treasure. And if money, the material goods, become the most important aspect of your life, basically you're craving, desiring, dreaming, longing to get them, this is where your heart will be. Consequently, you will have no discernment no wisdom to know why you are sad and where the true meaning of life can be found, true contentment and happiness. The Christians who follow Christ's path find out that He really is life when He says, I am the way, the truth and the life namely, fullness of happiness. However, the greedy person deep within will be convinced that happiness is found in possessing, in looking for other things. And more this craving is being nourished, searching for the gratification, more the spirit will turn sour and sad without even knowing why. I met people who in this state find themselves lonely, dissatisfied, not taken into account, complaining that others forgot about him, although he or she may have a family. But the spirit of searching for gratification in the earthly goods leaves the heart of men lonely, abandoned, wanting more. Okay, so I need to get other gratification, a stronger one. And yet, once again, something that will lift my spirit because I feel sad. But the problem is that this sadness comes from the innermost emptiness where God is not present and we try to put all sorts of items to fill up this interior void. Not knowing where true happiness can be found, a greedy person will keep dreaming, desiring, purchasing and longing for more. Let us think about ourselves. How do we find the gratification in our lives. And let's look at the pattern that when we look for this consolation in the earthly things, we may find a little bit contentment, but later on our hearts are lonely, are sad, in a way vacant. And so we start grumbling, complaining, being nostalgic or judgmental because God is not present inside. And that is a sign that we are dealing with the spirit of greed. The Lord provides His ways of dealing with our empty hearts. Instead of finding comfort in the material goods, he's telling us today, find comfort in me. Have you ever experienced 
gratification on a deep level of your heart in the spiritual matters, for example, the adoration, meditating on the scriptures, reading the spiritual book, going to mass or other uh, spiritual prayer group. Basically, if the Lord doesn't become our gratification, our hearts will be vacant, will be empty, and right away we'll be looking for some other forms of self-gratification and the devil, who is very sneaky and sly, he will propose to us ways that will give us a little bit of uh, consolation, but at the end our hearts will remain empty. In this season of Lent, instead of looking for other items online and trying to find what else can I get to feel a little bit better about myself, I would like to encourage us to get on the path of finding gratification in the spiritual matters. And a second point that is applicable to this sad and nostalgic spirit that is being caused by this continuous process of self-gratifying is a way of serving others. When we forget about our own needs, constantly having our focus on our belly bottom, looking for how we are feeling, looking for slightest ways of getting comfort, that is not gonna lead us to a lasting happiness. The other way around, don't look for comfort and gratification in the things of this world, as I was explaining, but you can find it knowing that the other person is Christ and serving him or them with the love that the Lord is serving you, there you will find comfort and gratification that is far deeper than we can get from any gadgets or objects that the world may be offering us. Let us ask the Lord to provide us with the means of serving Him in other people and at the same time finding consolation and comfort in the spirituality, in letting God into our lives through prayer, meditation and reflection. God bless you, brothers and sisters, as we continue our Lenten series. Jesus, sold for 30 pieces of silver, guard me from greed and destructive craving for possessions. Help me believe that there is more happiness in giving than in receiving. Grant me a sensitive heart to poverty and generous in sharing. Amen.